Oh, this is very clever. Hello, welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. A couple weeks ago, I found a YouTube channel that's completely blowing my mind. Some amazing things have happened on this channel over the last uh, 24 hours. I've never clicked a puzzle or Sudoku video before, so I was really shocked when this thumbnail popped up on my homepage. I click it and immediately I cannot stop watching. For the next week, I watch hours and hours of their videos, and it seems like I wasn't the only one. A few days ago, I came across this YouTube channel called Cracking the Cryptic. Basically what Cracking the Cryptic is, two puzzling experts sit down and tackle a really challenging puzzle. They show the full process, no cuts, they show their whole discovery, logic, they walk you through what they're thinking about. Ah, oh, and that can't be a seven. Because if we put, look, let me show you. And the puzzles, they're not usually classic Sudoku. They always have a fun twist. And there is a knight's move constraint. There are nine thermometers. Four of them go backwards. We don't know which four. These extra rules, these extra constraints lead to very unique puzzles that often stump these experts. That is a worry. So how are, how are you meant to solve this? That one puzzle video got over 3 million views. Their YouTube channel doubled from 85,000 subscribers to over 170,000 subscribers just in a couple weeks. This is not normal. I've seen other YouTube channels have a viral hit, but it almost never converts to this type of engagement. <laughs> For those of you I haven't met yet, I'm Eric Wynn, and on this channel, I'm here to help you rethink your YouTube storytelling. I love breaking down creators who are being compelling in clever and unconventional ways, and Cracking the Cryptic is definitely that. It's easy to look at what Cracking the Cryptic is doing and just say, oh, they're uploading a lot, their videos are really long, they must have great watch time, it's because they got a shout out, it's because they got lucky with the YouTube algorithm. And while those things are undeniably helping them, working in their favor, there's definitely so much more to it than that. You see, it's been a while since since they had that shout out, since they had that viral video click in the algorithm. But their views for their videos, even though they're uploading one to three times a day, have still been quite high, quite consistent. There's a lot of channels with a couple hundred thousand subscribers, a couple of viral hits, but their consistent content gets five to 20,000 views. That's not happening with the Sudoku channel. Also, it's one thing to get people regularly watching a 10 minute video from you, but for people to consistently click into a 20, 30, 40 minute video from you, that's a whole nother level. On top of that, three million views, that's really high, even for a video that clicks in the algorithm. There's lots of videos that go to the trending page that don't get three million views. Clicking in the algorithm usually means maybe 100,000 views or a little over a million views, but three million views, especially for a stone channel, that's pretty interesting. That means the algorithm was showing this video to a broader and broader audience and it was still proving to have a broad appeal. Mark and Simon are creating content that's not trendy, it's actually compelling. And the fact that they're doing this with puzzle content, something that's seemingly very niche, dense, complicated enough to make your head hurt, that's really remarkable. I think we have proved that puzzling has a place in the mainstream. The reason I think this channel has this energy, excitement, momentum around it is because Mark and Simon are doing something special in all four pillars of remarkable content. In this video, one of the most popular videos on my YouTube channel, I talk about how if you're able to stand out with your expertise, personality, the style and format of your videos, and the feeling your audience gets when they view your content, your videos will connect, compel, excite in a very mainstream way. All all the biggest creators on this platform have done something special in each of those four categories. And Mark and Simon, even though their videos aren't fancy, flashy, don't seem mainstream at first glance, they are totally doing something special in all four of those categories. How are they doing that? Well, expertise. It's one thing to be good at puzzles, but to be able to teach it, make it fun for a broad audience, that's a totally other level. Ooh, that's rather cool. Let's, let's have a look at this box up here. Where can two go? You won't be able to explain these puzzles curate these puzzles the way they do if you weren't an expert. Because that rules nine out from all of those squares. It's ridiculous. How much they're churning out this content shows how much they love this material, understand this material. And I mean, when you hear their delight when they're starting a new puzzle, working through a puzzle, admiring the design of the puzzle. Because if it's a seven, this is typical art, just elegant beyond your wild 
wildest dreams. This extra care or passion makes you really trust them, want to spend more time with specifically them. I don't want to watch other puzzle Sudoku channels. I now specifically connect with them. YouTube creators, if you're figuring out how to bring this into your content, expertise on YouTube isn't really about being fancy. It's not compelling because you're above everyone else. Expertise on YouTube is much more about bringing people into your world. And look, look at these. Oh, this is brilliant. This three as well. What makes it universally fun to watch is they're giving you access to inside their head, sharing a perspective you don't normally see. Normally, it just seemed complicated, impossible, overwhelming, but with them guiding us, we can have fun and understand alongside them. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool for many reasons. Firstly, how can you better share your world, your perspectives to your audience? Is there something you can give your audience access to they normally would never see? The second pillar of remarkable content is personality. And you might be thinking, Sudoku? Puzzles? How are they showing their personality? Are they telling jokes? Mark and Simon's personalities shine through both in the packaging of their videos and as they're solving the puzzles. With content on YouTube that's very edited and often scripted, it's actually pretty uncommon to see someone's real reactions, real discovery process, real struggle. Mark and Simon expose their personalities by not editing out any of the process of them solving the puzzles. I don't think I've ever felt so completely nonplussed by a puzzle. Good grief. Have we found the contradiction? Oh, now look. Let's see. It's ridiculous. Because the reactions in these videos are real, they feel extra special, memorable. These puzzles obviously feature Mark and Simon's analytical side, their creativity, their intelligence, but also it shows their lighthearted side, the fun they're having. <laughs> This is completely, it's completely balmy, isn't it? It's mad as a badger. These videos really made me think, how can I create a content style that naturally showcases my personality? And on top of that, how can I insert more of my real reactions, my real curiosity, my real discovery process into my content so you guys can more naturally get excited alongside me? Standing out on YouTube with your personality, it's not always about having the biggest, loudest personality. Often it's just about about being really you in a way your audience can quickly understand. What makes you special in real life is that shining through on YouTube. The third pillar of remarkable content is the style and format of your videos. I've never really seen content like this where you take a real expert and pit them against a really tricky challenge and they have no edits, cuts to hide behind. That's really interesting. Each puzzle actually has this very natural build, crescendo, climax in it. In the beginning, it might take five, 10 minutes just to place one number in the grid. But as the puzzle progresses, the numbers start flying on faster and faster until it finally builds to the end. I've talked about before how the style and format of your videos isn't always just having the same topic in your videos, the same background in your videos. Often what's more important are the patterns, through lines you weave into your content that stick out to your audience and that they can remember. I don't actually remember the step-by-step, play-by-play logic in the videos I've seen from them. But what I do remember is each video, Mark and Simon, they always get a little stuck. They always admire the design of the puzzle. Wow, how elegant is that? And they always get really, really excited when they make a breakthrough with the puzzle. And this one feeds back into this box again. This can't be a You can see it on their face. They get happy every single time. And in their British accents, they always bring up these really funny adjectives to describe how happy they are, how cool they think it is. Check this, please be right. Yes, what a puzzle. It's really interesting to me how there's this mini story journey in every single video, and that's sort of what I subscribe for. I want to see this story, journey, discovery process from Mark and Simon over and over and over again. Mark and Simon's content feels like you're hanging out with a friend or an awesome teacher who's showing you something really, really cool. Every video you feel really focused, you discover alongside them, you get delighted alongside them. There's anticipation, curiosity as they struggle with the puzzle, and throughout the puzzle as they plug in more and more numbers, it's really, really satisfying seeing this impossible puzzle get a little bit more possible. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be trying this puzzle today. Those are a lot of really strong feelings to inject in your content, promise and deliver to your audience. The most remarkable thing Mark and Simon have been able to do is take these puzzles and share them as emotional experiences, turning these logic puzzles 
into something entertaining. Triple that, I wasn't expecting this. I really admire how Mark and Simon took something complicated and made it accessible and fun for a broad audience. I see their effort, how they're sharing their passions, what they're delighted by, and I just think that's the coolest thing ever. On YouTube, it's up to us, the creators, to go that extra mile, think outside the box, how we can share our passions, our story, our world, to a broad audience in a way that's compelling and entertaining. That's something I'm sure we're gonna be breaking down and exploring a lot more on this YouTube channel. This video was a lot to edit. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, you are the change maker of your own life. Let's think more deeply. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace, bye.